game number three of the second semifinals. And spawning at the five o'clock we have from team against all authority in the teal. It is BSK and his opponent at the one o'clock position is going to be playing for team EC Visualize. The blue Protoss player Snovsky. Who once again is going to open with a Forge expansion. This is a good map for a Forge expand as well. Nice defensible ramp, easy to wall off. Uh, big main that you can hide your tech in. And of course the map is quite small and you can go for uh, immortal sentry attacks or blink all-ins if you want. Uh, force fields play a huge role if you want to hit a third base. Here is a ramp, here is a ramp, here is a ramp. This is all so abusable if, you're a, if you are a Protoss player. No wonder that Snovsky chose uh, this map to play the third game on. If he has a two base all in mind, this is the map to do it on. Or, you know, merry-go-round, but we didn't play on that map. So BSK going to find out where his opponent is. Sees the pylon, so knows what kind of opening this is. And can safely go for three hatches before gas or anything. Uh, kind of misses the probe. Uh, and again he did get... Oh, wait a minute. Did he open with a temple that I missed? Yeah, he must have. And he's pulling drones with this as well! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! BSK, what the hell are you up to? Yeah, he did open with a temple. Sorry guys, I completely missed that, I think. Wow! Wow! This is... There's no turning back from this. BSK just wants the easy win. He's going to get the gateway. The cannon's being... Cancelled? The wall is going to be breached. Snovsky ne needs to wall that off. He fails to do that! He fails to do that. As a result, the cannon will go down. The Zerglings are already onto it. Cancelled! before it finishes and now the main is completely unguarded cannons have gone down in the main in the meantime but they're not being walled in the probes will have to fight if this pylon goes down it's all over we have no backup pylon over this and Snovsky does not have additional resources to build one one cannon does finish the probes are fi fervently trying to defend it and they're doing a good job so far uh, is Snovsky going to hold? it looks like he is Wow! What a defense by Snovsky. But it's not over yet, mind you. There are still Zerglings up and about. There are still drones back in BSK's main base, and he's coming back to producing drones. And he can now start picking off this Nexus. And, you know, there are. Yeah, these probes have to fight. This is all in all, this is turning to be very good for, for BSK because he can mine continuously with these drones and build more of those, whereas every single time he attacks the Nexus, Snovsky will have to pull probes. He cannot afford to build a pylon. It would never finish, by the way. Nor another cannon. He has to wait for the... Oh, but he gets a surround on the links. A little bit of inattention by BSK, and this harassment opportunity is all but over with. That should never happen. Or, you know, it can, but might have been nice for BSK to keep up the harassment for a little longer. And now, BSK will probably want to expand going off the economy, economical advantage that he has over his opponent. Or, well, maybe not an economical advantage, but it's more like delaying the Protoss tech than anything else right now. Because... Snovsky's been delayed by so much that BSK is going to feel very safe for the time being. He knows that any kind of gateway timing is pretty much, or, or any kind of timing, is pretty much out of the question as there are no gases nowhere. Uh, 
just a gateway, no cybernetics core, no expansion. BSK is going to take his. This time around, he leaves an old lord down here in case a counter cannon rush comes. Is, is he even going to pick off this pylon? Uh, he very well might. I mean, wow. If he gets these two pylons, he's going to supply block Snarfsky, so he won't be able to uh, to build anything. So we have a slight pause here. Wow. Alright, we resume the game with these pylons being taken out on the low ground and you know with only one zealot Okay, we'll we'll have two zealots, but still I think versus this many links nah two zealots could do it, but who knows, with good micro, BSK might still be able to uh, win the fight, so probes will need to be pulled as well with this. Losing more mining time, still not taking the gases. Trying to desperately get that natural up. Uh, once he repowers this forge, or at least puts down a pylon, he'll be able to start building cannons. Uh, this is such a micro battle right now. These the zealots are getting a better end of the trade, however. Wow, Snavsky actually keeping both of these alive with 20 and 12 hit points. Nicely done. But take a look at the economy. 21 probes, 27 drones. It's still fairly, like, you know, normal. And finally we have the gases being taken. The wall is going to get reconstructed. But still... Oh, uh, BSK. Is he going for... A, oh, he's going for a third base. Wow. Already at 36... 35 workers. If he goes for an for a for something like a roach max out uh, from a three base economy with like I don't know fifty five drones, he might actually be able to close this game out because Snovsky is not going to have enough immortals by that time. The attack hits. He's taking uh, BSK is taking two additional gases, not getting the lair so far. We'll see if he gets a lair with the 100 gas that he's going to mine right now. Uh, maybe not. At the same time, his third base is under attack, but I think he's just going to cancel. Yeah, he's just going to cancel. No point in trying to save this without the creep spread. And the two queens, well, I don't know if this is a good idea. They'll probably lose the fight against those Zods. Although two of those Zods are pretty damn hurt. Oh, nice. Snovsky getting the queen with the with, with more energy instead of the other one. Uh, now the Zods are going to be pushed back by these roaches. And Snovsky getting the Stargate, he's going to be just fine. If a roach counterattack comes, he doesn't even need cannons. All he needs is a couple of void rays, but he's getting phoenixes, which is not gonna be helpful. Yeah. And losing this forge might actually be a big deal. This might be a big deal. Look at this. Snovsky knows what might come. He knows a potential roach all in or, or heavy roach pressure might be in the works so he's getting more cannons before the forge is killed but BSK is just playing this so well and immediately queues up uh, a void race. Now BSK I wonder what he's going to do he's rallying more and more roaches over there plus one is on the way he's not nice oh, he is squeezing drones in there as he can but he's getting into a better and better position. 
I mean, 48 drones, 3 bases, unpowered Stargate, so the Void Ray never actually... Oh my goodness, these roaches are so, so good. They're paying for themselves so well. And they're gonna go inside the main! Oh my goodness, really? Really, BSK? Wow, so much value out of those units right now. And more roaches coming in. There, There's only one cannon at the natural base, and we have one Void Ray. That's gonna be quite some time before the Void Ray kills the roaches. But we'll also have an Immortal out very soon. Still, BSK, you know, he can let up the pressure whenever he wants. He's at 53 workers. He's got Hydrogen on the way, uh, Burrow plus one on the way. Uh, free base economy, five gases. Uh, he doesn't have to attack right now. He can wait a little while. He knows how few drones there are. Uh, probes, excuse me. Snovsky only on 25 probes. His economy right now is abysmal. Look at this! Doubling his opponent in mineral income. That's just, that's just insane. Snowski going to use this Phoenix to scout. He's not going to be pleased with what he finds here. A well-saturated third base. All gas is taken everywhere. Lair done. And he just immediately leaves the game. He knows that the battle has already been lost. 